Yo, yo, what's good? I pray to do some most like y'all. Make sure you guys give me a like to the Lord and Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. And let's hop straight into it. Why black men and women struggle in dating. Guys, black people need to be uplifted more than ever. We are the only race that look at one another as an enemy. You know what I'm saying? We are the only race that say, man, not only is this an enemy to my success, but my own people is the enemy of success. Black men and women struggling in today's day and age, guys. If you really look at all the other races, man, the whites, the Hispanics, the Mexicans, what do they all have in common? Chinese, they stick together. We don't stick together, guys. We don't. We do not stick together. Ladies and gents, we don't. This is the main reason why we struggle in dating. We don't stick together. We this is this is one I'm gonna say that that's the main reason. You know, we're gonna get some more in a minute. But we don't stick together. We don't understand that if we work together, we can build something. You know? We can build a lot if we work together. But you know, in the black community, that's just not the case. A lot of black people don't believe that. They don't believe that you can build with somebody black. You know, we hate ourselves, which is crazy. You know, which is crazy because when two black, when two, when a good black couple is working together, you guys see, you know, how beautiful of a thing that is. But, um, you know, a lot of times it just won't happen, guys. Next is the social programming. Look at how, you know, social media, music, look at how it possesses black people to hate one another. It possesses black people to go throw that ass in a club, to go throw money on strippers, to go pop, pop a op, to um, had a, had a hot girl summer. It is promoting the detriment of the black woman and the black man. How do you expect a race like that when they're getting fed this type of crazy crap to be able to have successful marriages, have successful relationships? How do you expect any of that to happen? It can't because we are already being programmed to hate each other. We are being programmed to hate one of, one of ourselves, you know, ourselves, because we too busy twerking. We too busy, you know what I'm saying? Shooting each other. I don't know why my dog barking, man. I got some big ass dogs, but we too busy shooting each other. We're too busy doing all type of things like that, man. And when you guys understand this, you'll realize that a lot of times it's not just black people's fault, man. It's the social engineering and behind this crap, man. Look at the sexy reds. Look at the Megan Thee Stallions. Look at the Cardi B's. Look at the money bag yo's, the poo shiesties, the um, the uh, Snoop Dogs. Look at all the the crap, the poison we've been fed as a people, and you really realize why it's so hard to date. You know, We're too busy twerking. How can a man want a woman? How can a man want to date a woman that's twerking? How can a woman want to date a man that's out here trying to kill folks? That's very abusive. How, how can she want that? And the reason, listen, guys, we are hated as a people so much because we are really the most powerful. You know, I'm not sitting there saying that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we are better than any other race and we're not. You know, God made us all equal. But what I'm saying is, man, we are very powerful, you know. We are so powerful, but they don't want to see black people succeed. You know, you, you just understand this just by being born black. You just understand it, man. And um, you have to realize, man, we have been socially programmed. We have been socially engineered to not like one another, to not coexist. It's just the bottom line with that, man. We are literally being just bamboozled into not liking each other, man. Next, guys, is trauma. A lot of black people, man, grow up in single-parent households 
we grow up in single parent households. How can you expect, especially a single parent household with no guidance, you know? It's just been a single parent household. She, your mom or your dad made it the best way they could, and that was that. You've never seen two parents coexist with one another for a very long time. You've never seen that, so you don't understand, you know, how a relationship should work, how a marriage should work. You don't understand that. You're just used to being in a single parent household, guys. The stereotypical, the statistical black person's way they came up. The black person's life. Trauma, man. And it goes deep because God, you have to understand some. Sometimes black people, we grow up in houses where we see our parents get beat, something like that. And the reason why that's so bad and why that trauma affects relationships is because, say for instance, a girl, a, a black woman gets with a guy and she's used to seeing her mama get beat all the time. But this black guy is actually a good guy. He's in college or, you know, he's doing something with his life. Even if he's not in college, he's just not a hood guy or nothing like that. That black girl that's used to that hood stuff and she's used to seeing, you know, the females in her family get beat. She's going to be combative to him. She's going to be restrictive to him because she's used to seeing you know, she's used to seeing another black man hit a hit, you know what I'm saying, hit another woman. He's, she's used to seeing a woman get abused. That's what she's used to seeing. And when this guy's not abusing her, when he's not beating her, when they have disagreements, now she doesn't want him. She doesn't, she feel like he's lame. She feel like he's nothing, you know. And she gets repelled from him because he's not abusive. He's not that way. And the same thing vice versa with a man. A black man might be used to dealing with, you know, hoes. They might grew up seeing their daddy pimp out holes or something like that they just might be used to seeing unworthy women and they get a quality girl you know she's real she take real good care of herself she's very well spoken she's classy and not all scandalous and he tries to treat her like he's a pimp or something and she'll she'll you know what i'm saying he'll instantly be like you know she ain't nothing when the whole time's she probably one of the best girls he gonna get because he's been he, he's been as a kid he's just been watching women get treated the wrong way and this is how he does it and that is not something that you can do with a classy woman you just can't they're not gonna respond to that type of negative vibes man a, a bad woman a woman that's in the streets that's roaming the streets that's a street walker she's going to respond to that so you guys must understand that trauma is holding us back. Trauma is keeping us from liking one another, man. It's keeping us from connecting to one another. It really is, man. Black men and women have got to do better. We have got to realize that the best partners for us is us. But I will say this. If you just can't find nobody, you know what I'm saying, another black person, guess what? You do what you got to do. You're going to venture out your race. I hate to say it but you're just gonna have to do it you gotta go where you love but um you know that's just that's just what it is with that man not every black woman wants a thug man but a lot of guys think that every black woman won't say thug you know they think that you gotta look past that and look at these women that go to these universities man a lot of these women that go to universities go to these colleges man they don't be wanting no thug really sit down talk to them and read them they don't even be want no thug gang I said gang, but they don't even be want no thug. YouTube squad, they don't. Same thing with these, with, with men that's actually doing something that's attending university that might be doing something, starting their own business. Do you think they want a, a hood chick? Me, myself, I don't want a hood chick. I don't. I would like them hood chick built. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it like that. But I don't want a hood chick, man. I don't, I don't coexist with a hood chick. You know, but um, you guys must understand that, you know, not every black woman wants a thug and not every black man wants some hood hoochie. He, he doesn't want that. So understand this, black people, man, we have to do better as a people. We have to really start looking in the mirror and seeing, am I the problem? Am I dating the wrong kind? We have to really look at that. We have to just say, OK, I might be dating the wrong type of person. Or it might be me. You feel me? But we have to do better, man. We have to really do better. 
But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And I'm out.